Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about software engineering skills and taking them to another level. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, how can I take my programming and software engineering skills to the next level? Well, I'm going to be super, super dry and engineer -y and say that kind of depends on what level you are. Because if you're at the Hello World level, you really only need to learn how to use functions and there you are. Answer given, answer provided, wisdom bestowed. Thank you. I know that this is why you come by my channel. So for those of you who may not be at the Hello World level, you might be at a level where you've kind of stagnated a little bit or maybe you're in that nice area of your personal development where you're trying to figure out what the next thing is. Well, you are in luck because today I actually have an answer or I think I have a decent answer to this question and I actually got the answer today only because my senior co-worker flattered me enormously by asking a very special question that uh, I'll, I'll tell you the story I guess I don't think he would mind since he's well I'm not gonna tell you his name but for those of you who work with me you know who it is so he and I we were video conferencing and we were talking about some stuff we were gonna have to prepare for work and all of a sudden he asks me Frederick would you be open to giving me a bit of coaching and uh, I kind of reacted and I said like because th we have talked about this before uh, we are very open in our communication usually we work really really well together and so he knows that I rely on him to keep me in line so that I don't go and fuck up the entire code base with all my genius ideas and he relies on me to make sure that we have any have genius ideas to begin with so what then happens is that he says to me Frederick so I feel that I need to take the next step I need to step it up a bit I'm a little bit unsure about my personal development within the company and I feel as if my manager doesn't like uh, I've kind of given up on the personal progression at this company I put that on hold because I didn't really feel that I had anybody who could figure out what my next step is and I can't figure out myself what my next step is would you be open to maybe you since you have an outside perspective and maybe share some thoughts what do you think that I should focus on next and since I've worked with the with this uh, this dude for a few years now I kind of immediately went I think I know I, I, I can give you uh, just from my perspective what I think that you should focus on and I said you have two things that you should really really work on and the reason why I tell you that these two things are your primary things because uh, I think that they will flow very naturally into your identity at this company not only in this company I would say your industry identity the sort of developer that you are building yourself up to becoming and that's the key thing for you guys to that, like this, the, this is the root answer to my uh, to this question for me if order for you to answer the question how are you going to get things to the next level you need to understand what is the what is the programmer identity that I'm creating for myself now my coworker he is rock solid he's uh, he's uh, the sort of person where if you tell him that I need you to master this thing or I tell him I need you to build this thing or so forth he will do it like always he will always produce he always delivers he's the sort of dude that every single person on the team goes to I go to him as well to know how does this feature work dude because he's basically built everything and he remembers for some reason he's able to remember everything he's like a black hole of domain information and uh, and pretty much everybody relies on him he's very dangerous as well because if he leaves that, that leaves a lot of people in a really top spot but that is who he is and I told him I think that you are the sort of developer who is extremely good at producing consistent results people know that you are the go-to for all their questions about how things work how long are things gonna take is this easy is it hard you have you're the person with the answers you're the domain expert of the company 
and on the other hand though you're not really the sociable ID person who is gonna be like the one who le takes the lead and like tells everybody else what to do that's not really who you are and he goes no fuck no absolutely that's not me and I said I don't think that you should try to move in the di management direction and he goes no no I don't I never I don't actually don't want to do that and I go so what I think that you should do is to understand that your strength lies in your ability to deliver. People are interested in having you as part of the team or part of the company because they know that if they get you, you're basically an insurance policy. That is what your identity, you, uh, identity is, it should be. You are the insurance policy. If we have you in the team, we know that not that many things can be completely fucked up. Like you know that you're going to be able to deliver on time, you know that things are going to run fairly smoothly. There might, like, I mean, that that's your identity. You are the deliverer, if that makes sense. And he goes, yeah, that does sound like the sort of person that I can be. And then I tell him, so what I know about you is that you are primarily an application developer. I know that you work primarily, you've worked for a long time and you've worked for many, many years in C Sharp and so forth. But I've also noticed that when we work together, there are two things that y I think that you can improve in that will make a very big difference for your ability to be the deliverer or the insurance policy. And that is number one, you need to be more engaged in the planning of work. In other words, I'm not saying that you should plan the work, I'm saying that when your stakeholder comes in and says, we're thinking we're gonna build this thing and this thing and this thing, you are very good at either always saying yes to everything or letting somebody else do the talking and thinking for you and then just kind of sitting there and letting things happen. You need to have a bigger perspective. That is the one thing that you are lacking. And that is the thing that I believe, because he's tell, tell, has told me the, this a few times, I think that that's one of, the, one of the reasons that you enjoy working with me, because I'm a loudmouth bastard who thinks that I know everything uh, when I put that fo foot forward. And although that is sometimes useful, it's also sometimes and sometimes annoying. I think that to, for you, it actually gets you going as well. I'm tr I trigger you to e to think broader perspective as well. Now, I'm not trying to make you into a philosopher because this is a very intentional thing that I'm doing. And I think that by just working with me, you will actually you will develop this part of yourself. And he goes, yeah, uh, that's absolutely true. I, you are 100% correct. I have a tendency to to not actually think so much about the specification and ask questions and try to f clarify things. And I go, I know, because I've worked with you for quite some, quite some time now. But what I think is that uh, if you get that thing right, you will find that you will more qu you will quicker find figure out if there are holes in the specifications. And this is so powerful and so useful for you because you don't want to find it at the end of the story because that's where you usually get a problem because uh, you have, you are the deliverer, but you are also very uh, th this is the issue you are delivering the wrong thing sometimes you're actually you think that you know what's going to make your customer happy but you're actually just building them something like the, the, you're just building what they told you to build not the thing that they want does that make sense to you and he goes yeah that makes perfect sense so that's number one you're getting this just by working we if we continue to rubber duck and talk and we just inspire each other because i'm getting things for you as well but this is the thing that i can give you second thing you need is you need a stronger understanding of kubernetes docker operations and stuff of that nature because you are you are the deliverer you are the insurance policy in the company for everything except for the operations and you don't have to go here, but it is a very nice supplement to a really strong, the, the CV that you have today that is already really, really strong. If you have this part, because you should know that Kubernetes and ops related and DevOps work and so forth, it, it is more or less taking over at this point. It is a big factor for a lot of people. This would be probably, I mean, you're going to go from being a really senior developer to being a very, very attractive senior developer in so many areas that you can't even fathom it. So that's the thing that we're going to work together on and he seems to be extremely excited about all of these uh, sort of developments. So what I want you to take away from this is that in order for you to understand what you need in order to take your software skills to the next level, you need to ask yourself, what is my identity? Who am I? Like what type of developer am I? And then you need to figure out, all right, if I'm identified as if you were as my co-worker you are the deliverer you're the insurance policy how can you create a more well-rounded skill set that will guarantee that you're always going to be able to deliver you're always going to be able to 
understand the domain or answer questions and so forth you're rock solid like it does, you, if you have a person like you in the company you're just going to churn out code and people are going to be happy with you is that the sort of person you are or maybe you are the person who is full of ideas or like the person who's doing that sort of thing or you're the machine learner you're the one who they come to you with really hard mathematical problems or so forth it's the or are you the front end expert are you the person that wish that knows like everything about front end, you need to ask that question. And when you figure that out, what your identity is, then you understand. You can start asking the real question. Okay, this is where I am right now, and who do I have? What do I have to learn next to take the step towards to get closer to the identity that I want to have within my company? Have a great day.